Hello everyone, I am of course back again in Unity and we're going to be doing some things just to finish off our game and just to add a little bit of polish to it. So as promised from last episode, I'm going to be adding a loading screen and a points counter to our game. So let me show you how to add a loading screen. What you're going to see is that I've got a lot of components pre-baked in and I'm just going to delete a couple of components just to make it so that you guys can keep up. So I'm just going to delete this and the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to canvas and then right click on canvas, UI, then go to UI image, where is that, there we go, UI image. And then here we see in our scene view that we've got our UI image up. And what we want to do is we want to go to the anchor presets, hold alt, and then press this little one at the bottom right and that's just going to stretch our image over the game space now the next thing that we want to do is we want to add some text UI to that so we're going to go to UI then text again and it seems pretty good in the center there let me just do this and then see how we've got the anchor in the center right here so our current preset is to have the anchor in the center uh, what we can do is just put in values of 0 and that should center our text quite nicely. Now the next thing that we're going to do is type in loading here where it says text and put a little dot 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 there. And depending on color that you want for your loading screen you can uh, manipulate that when you go to the UI image. So color right here and you can just change that to whatever you want. But just for demonstration's sake, I'm going to keep it like this. One thing that I will do is just scale up the text a little bit. So, scale up that font. And that looks okay to me. Let's make sure we reveal our ellipses. And that looks okay to me. Let's see how that looks in the game view. Yeah, that looks like a loading screen. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up our main menu script. You remember the one that we created last lesson to switch between levels. So we're just going to open that up and I'll see you guys in Mono Develop. Okay, so we're here with our main menu script. And from the start you're going to see that there's a couple of different things. Now the first thing that I want you to type in is public game object image. And then the next line that we want to input, so usually you wouldn't have this just want to make a space here and then input image dot set active and what that should do is as we open up our next scene we're going to be presented with the loading image so our player knows that they're actually being taken to the level and that everything's fine so it's just a nice bit of feedback that just makes sure our player knows that the game is running properly so once you've added those lines of script what you want to do is just save it I've got mine all saved up and then exit that. Now back in Unity we want to assign that image for loading because we made that a public game object. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to canvas and down here we see image missing object. I'm just going to drag this in here and now let's test out what happens when we uh, do this. Just a side note about the hierarchy of the UI things that are at the bottom of the list appear in the front so it's just the reverse of Photoshop so we, we don't want this to happen we don't want our buttons to be on top of our image so if that's happening then just rearrange things clicking down holding and then just dragging along the hierarchy just so you've got everything that you need but let's test out this script oh that's another point before we actually press play what we want to do is we want to deactivate we want to deactivate that image so once we've selected image look at its inspector and uncheck it just to deactivate it because otherwise we're just going to be presented with a loading screen and that's not too great so once you've hit play just go to your level and there you have it you've got a loading screen and we are into our game now if you've noticed we've actually got another component which we're going to add in a second which is the score up here so we're going to do that right now as we switch scene. So here we just want to save that scene. So save scene. It's going to ask us anyway once we switch. Go to your levels folder or wherever you've saved your scenes. 
and then I'm just going to go to level 1 and this is where the game is. Okay, for this part we're going to be messing around with the canvas again. So if you've got your canvas like this, then just click this arrow to drop it down. And then we're going to right click here, UI and text. Now I've already added my text, but I'll just delete mine right now so you can follow along with me. So UI then text. So we want to change what our text says, but this isn't going to be permanent, so you can literally call it anything right here because the way that our text is actually going to be displayed is going to be dictated by what we put in our script for this component but just so we get a nice preview of what's happening I'm just gonna have it like that scale that font up to 15 and change the color to white all right now let's just go to anchor presets hold control uh, hold alt and shift sorry and then move that down in line with the other UI components that we have take it down to about minus 50 and I know that it goes in at the x-axis by 4.4 so I'm just gonna have it there so let's just see what our game is gonna look like this looks pretty good to me that we've got our score down here we've got both health components here everything's lined up nicely Let's just go back to the scene view so we can actually select things and do some more things to our scoring component. So our text component is going to be what's affected by our script. So we want to add a script to that so we can just go to add component new script. But I've already got a script so I'm going to add component scripts and then go to score manager. Make sure you call the script score manager because I'm going to be linking where I got this script in the description below. But we're going to be making some changes to it. But if you keep it as score manager then you don't have any complications with how the script is referenced. So we've added our script, now let's go into it and see what we've done. Okay so now we're here in Mono Develop, and as you can see I've got some of the notes here still. But this is what our script is going to look like. So everything's referenced properly and if we leave our text just as text, we're not going to have any issues. So with our scoring script, there's not actually any differences from the source code. So if you keep everything the same, then you won't have any issues popping up. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to find out how we can apply hitting the enemy with our point script. So that every time we land a hit on the enemy, our score counter is going to go up by a certain amount. So if we go to our destroy enemy script, and this is the script where we set everything for our enemy's health bar, if you open this script we just have to make some slight adjustments. So the first thing that we want to do is where it says E player health and in between uh, that and destroy damage, you just want to input this line of script. And that's basically saying that we're going to reference our score manager so that the score goes up by the value that we've set. And the value that we've set is in this public int right here called score value. And right now I've set mine to 5. You can set it to whatever you want it to be. And that should be it for our destroy enemy script. Now if you're done here, what you want to do is just hit that save again and return to Unity. So if you've applied the script to our text component right here, and it should be down there, then you should be good to go and let's see what happens when we hit play. Now if you just turn your attention to the top left you're going to see that the score component is going up in increments that we set so uh, or intervals that we set so mine is going up by five each time I hit the enemy and I know that my final one's landed because I'm at about 500 which is roughly how much we should score seeing that our enemy has 100 HP, each hit is 1 HP, 5 times 100, that is 500, and I probably landed an extra hit because the bullets are going so fast. But that has been it for this part of our Unity tutorial, and the main part of this tutorial to be honest, I'm pretty satisfied with what we've come up with. We've come up with the skeleton of a very good game, and with some artsy components added to it, we could make something really viable, really nice, and just something fun to share with other people. And that's what the aim of this project has been. So I haven't gone into the aesthetic side of many things, 
but on the gameplay side, I'm pretty satisfied with what we have. Thanks everyone for sticking around through this tutorial. Thanks for asking questions, giving requests, supporting, liking, subscribing, and all those kinds of things. And now I guess I'm just going to say this is the end of our Unity tutorial. Well, formal end of our Unity tutorial. If you guys want anything different from this tutorial, if you want me to go into different aspects, then just leave a comment and I'll do my best to make good on your requests. But for now, as always, it's been me, press any button, and I will be back another time.